Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's the real Big Friday of Team of the Year with the Team of the Year Honorable Mentions entering packs today and a lot of people opening their packs. Guys, this is really the exciting part of Team of the Year that we have been looking forward to. Today is the big day. So what I want to do today is take a look at what to expect on this game. We have the full Team of the Year 11 in packs. Today we expect the 12th man and the honorable mentions, but there's one surprise. The Team of the Year icons are going out of packs, and with some information we learned yesterday, they might not be in packs today. That has people maybe wanting to hold their packs until Sunday when they might be coming back in. We'll discuss that situation and, of course, what to expect on the market today and with content via SBCs and objectives, another big flashback potentially coming today, and probably just a lot of SBC content in general. Since it's such a big pack day, EA is going to give us opportunities to put those cards we get from packs into SBCs, and we're all for it. Also, speaking of the market, prices are flying up on the new Team of the Year cards. Uh, the new ones, of course, being the full Team of the Year released in packs. Like, the whole Team of the Year is up in price after yesterday. So many people opened packs with the full team being out. There's a lot to talk about today, guys. If you're excited for the big day of Team of the Year, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. What I want to do first is look at what people are going to be trying to pack today. We know the Team of the Year 11 is in packs as of yesterday, but the 12th man and the rest of the honorable mentions are going to be in packs today as well. I want to quickly look through some of these leaks. You guys know we've seen them already. Holland, of course, the 12th man today. Hopefully, he's got an absolutely juiced card with either a 5-star weak foot or maybe... Four star, four star. That would be great. But some of the honorable mentions were basically all the honorable mentions that we expect to see today. Sokka, right? We've seen that card. Harry Kane. Joao Cancelo, one of the uh, non winners of the 12th man vote. We'll see the other one in a second. Alfonso Davies. Otamendi maybe is an objective today. Fakir impacts today. Fofana, a new leak, one of our potential objectives today as well. And then some other ones, Fede Valverde. This is one that so many people were really, really wanted. And since he did not win the 12th man vote, he is getting in as an honorable mention. That's going to be a really, really juiced card. Hopefully EA boosted up a little bit more than these predicted stats here on this Valverde. A couple more leaks, Kula Bali, right? And these guys, these cards are really going to impact the market today. And that's why I want to talk about them. And that's honestly why a lot of us saved our packs as well, because we remember the cards that came out in FIFA 22. They were really good boosts and they were really packable and really, really cheap. So we'll talk about that. But a couple more leaks the, uh, past this cool Bali, we have the Vinny Jr., of course, that we saw a couple days ago. And then new ones from FIFA Romania yesterday were Pedri. So more reason to do La Liga. La Liga and Premier League have the most honorable mentions for sure and by far. Those are going to be the best premium upgrades to be opening this weekend and throughout this next week. So Pedri's getting a card today and Mike Magnan, some Serie A love. That's going to be a nice French goalkeeper and a card that a lot of people want to get as well for Teo Hernandez links and all the other great Milan links that we have in this game. So I think that's only 10 honorable mention cards though and we should have around a full squad plus for some reserves. So about 15 players is what we would expect to be in packs today. So watch out for maybe a couple more leaks and a couple more player names being released. But these cards are really going to impact the market a lot today because they're going to be the cards that most people can afford, right? They're going to be a lot cheaper than this team of the year. And since so many people are waiting today to open packs, these guys are going to get supplied a lot really, really early, especially because their pack weight is going to be a lot higher. Let me show you what happened last year. Last year, this is a screenshot of my video. Last year, I was on my phone, a TFA phone video. If you know those, you're a real OG. But 9.4% uh, out of a 100,000 coin pack, pretty decent pack odds, right? And of course, when so many people are opening packs, they get supplied on the market a lot. In fact, last year, for a lot of these cards, they were their absolute cheapest on day one. This is one of those rare occurrences where there's so many saved up packs that people are going to be opening. These cards last year were their cheapest on day one. That could happen again today, but it might not. You can see Rudiger was 530 on day one, and I know for a fact he was even lower than that in the first couple of hours while he was in packs. He went up on Saturday and then back down to 540, and then, of course, they exploded out of packs. A lot of these cards rose like crazy out of packs because they were really supplied, but they were also like really, really in demand. And a lot of them weren't that expensive either, right? This was like the affordable part. Part of team of the year last year. Goretzka was 400k. Again, we looked at the um, the Holland. He was a bit more expensive. He was around 500k. But like a lot of these cards, that's not even that expensive compared to a team of the year, right? Where team of the years are millions of coins, over a million. A lot of these guys were under a million. 
and a lot more packable and a lot more in demand because more people could afford them. So definitely watch out for these guys today on the game because they're going to be packed a lot. And that's the reason why we're really opening a lot of packs today. Now, let's talk about these team of the year icons because this is the part today that is a bit, I guess, confusing and Honestly, it's really unfortunate because I think a lot of us were hoping to open our packs today and have a chance at packing Team of the Year icons as well. But with what we learned from EA Sports, well, not really from EA Sports, probably from EA, but from a leak from Foot Sheriff yesterday, what we learned is these cards that say they're going out of packs, Team 2 of the Team of the Year icons that are going out of packs today actually look like they're not going to come back into packs today as well. I'm trying to find a little infographic on the screen here that shows those Team of the Year icons, but it's not showing up in the menus now. But let me show you this tweet from yesterday from Sheriff. He says, exclusive Team of the Year icons will go out of packs today, and they should come back on Sunday. And that's a little unfortunate because I would like a chance at packing a Team of the Year icon, right? This was the day where we thought Team of the Year icons and honorable mentions and the 12th man were going to come in. But according to this leak, that may not be the case. They still, who knows, maybe it seems a bit unsure. He says they're also probably not going to com communicate this officially either. So we're going to have to really watch the game today because if there are no Team of the Year icons in packs. We were hoping for a re-release of not just this Team 2, guys, of like Ronaldinho, Nesta, Makalele, etc. We were hoping for a re-release of like the first team as well with Hullet and some of those other cards. We expected those guys to be in packs. I still do expect all of the Team of the Year icons to be in packs. It just might not be today. It might be delayed until Sunday as kind of like a mini release of cards we've already seen. So that's the unfortunate thing. But who knows? Maybe at content today, EA will actually do something different in the game. We will just have to see. So let's talk a little bit more about content today though, right? SBCs because we're all opening a lot of these packs. We're all starting to craft league upgrades, trying to pack Team of the Year's. What are the SBCs going to look like today on this game? We had some interesting pack code added yesterday, but first, we have to talk about a big player SBC. Sadio Mane is the biggest leak that we have right now. There are a couple other leaks, but this is the SBC I think we will be getting today. It just seems to fit the big type of promo Friday SBC vibe. A big time flashback Mane to his team of the year for a couple years ago. Hopefully it's 94 rated. Hopefully they give him five star skills. And the one thing I can say about this Mane SBC is it's probably not gonna be cheap, right? Because his promo cards are not that cheap. And if you think about it, we're gonna talk about that player of the month Mbappe SBC in this video as well. SBCs that EA are releasing right now, they're not cheap. And I think they're not cheap because EA know that everybody's opening packs. Everybody has more fodder at their disposal to get those SBCs done so they can drain more coins and more cards out of people's clubs by making these SBCs a little bit more expensive. I would have to imagine this Mane might be somewhere between 700k to over a million coins, depending on how big the boost is, what kind of stat boost he gets. I just really, really hope he gets five-star skills or something crazy. Just make this one a really special flashback EA. That would be great. Now, of course, with the fodder side of things, we might see some higher rates go up depending on the requirements. But we have to really, really watch out for some of these Bayern Munich links as well because so many people are going to have to buy cards. If the Mane SBC is really as cracked as it looks like it may be, people are going to have to buy cards to put links to this Mane in their team because the Bundesliga, honestly, guys, it just hasn't been shown as much love as maybe other leagues have this year, right? We haven't had as many promo cards, as many SBCs. That's just my opinion, but watch out for specifically Bayern Munich cards. There's a lot of really, really expensive ones that, you know, are not just expensive ones, but really, really hyped ones with good stats that could go to the moon today if the Mane SBC is good value. Again, it's an if Mane is good and if a lot of people want to go out and do it. That's a key I would want you guys to watch out for there. Now, speaking of SBCs, we have to talk about fodder. Fodder is down on the low tier. That's what we expected after yesterday. We talked about it in yesterday's video that fodder would get hit on the low tier because pack supply, honestly, or lightning rounds, tons of them. People opening saved up packs. 83s yesterday go from over 2,000 coins. They are 1,000 coins a pop right now. From 2.4K, they are just getting supplied like crazy. They might have a little bit of a bounce back today heading into the content drop as people are maybe finalizing some last minute 83 times threes or maybe an 83 double upgrade. They want to save up for all the cards that are going to be out today. But these guys are probably going to go low again. And I really think that fodder, the way that it moved yesterday and the graphs that we're looking at right now, I think it's going to move the same way again today. You might have a couple spikes at content, maybe one little spike 
spike like this, but then you're going to have a lot of supply. It's probably going to push prices down lower. Now, this goes for the lower rated fodder cards, 82s, 83s, all the way up to probably 86s, but your higher tier fodder, think about like uh, Lewandowski Gold. He's in packs right now, but with the Mbappe Player of the Month SBC yesterday even being a bit more expensive or honestly a lot more expensive than we were hoping it was going to be, this higher tier fodder is still going up. 71,000 coins for Lewandowski. It's not a crazy rise, but he's kind of moving up there. I think the same thing is going to happen today. Maybe a slight dip at content on your 89s, 90s, and 91s, but it's probably just going to keep going up because that's the fodder that is in demand. Now, one other set of packs that we might see today are these 85 plus position specific three players packs. I believe that since we had these last year, uh, we had these last year before team of the year even started. These were really, really good packs to get team of the years and team of the year honorable mentions out of. People will really, really want to do these today. I think EA might require some 84 rated squads, maybe require an inform or an 85 or an 86. So maybe if you're opening packs today, watch out for these. I could see this being a part of our SBC content today, because again, like we said, I think EA is going to give us so many different SBCs today because they know people are opening a lot of packs. They're going to drop a lot of lightning rounds. They may even drop that 10 coin ba pack back in the game. I know we have a lot of player SBCs, but if you take a look at like the real upgrade packs, kind of the gamble-ish packs right now, we've got an icon pack that is expiring today. We have an 83 double, which is absolutely terrible value, but I think a lot of people would be interested in an 85 plus position specific pack to try to get team of the years. I think some of those, if not maybe all of them, could be in SBCs or objectives or both today so definitely watching the SBC side of things today it's going to be a very interesting day in that side and talking about objectives really quick the Gundawan is going away we have two objective leaks uh for the uh, Fofana card and the Otamendi we might see both of those today we might only see one this promo is only going to be a week long guys team of the years are in packs for another seven days basically next friday all this stuff goes out of packs and it's over and we even know the next promo because there's been pack code that have been added to, that talks about the next promo future stars um but that's kind of what we know and so i would expect we might get two objective players today ea might just drop them both up front maybe they'll stagger it one day a piece maybe one today one tomorrow but Odamendi and that Fofana, I do expect to see an objective. Now, speaking of that pack code about future stars, I want to look at that just really fast before we continue the team of the year conversation because um, there's an 84 plus super loan pack, which is give you an 84 plus for 99 games, which is interesting. Uh, and then the foot future stars token pack, which basically confirms we are going to have a swaps program as a part of Future Star. So EA is going to try to build the hype after Team of the Year, keep it going, and build it even further with the swaps program. We haven't had one of those since Winter Wild Cards. That'll be nice. There's an 84-plus rare gold player pack and an 83-plus player pick. Those are new card packs that have been added uh, to the code. So definitely notice that there and keep that in the back of your mind as we're going through Team of the Year. That stuff is upcoming as well. Now, let's talk about Mbappe player of the month because this SBC yesterday moved the market a lot. We'll talk about the market a little bit more towards the end of this video too, but this Mbappe player of the month, man, it's way more expensive than any of us thought it was going to be. But I mean, honestly, I'm disappointed in myself here for a little bit because I wish I would have seen this coming and we should have known that this was going to be coming, right? Mbappe POTM requiring 10 squads. It's almost 2 million coins to do this SBC. But again, think about it, right? So many people have packs, so many people were looking forward to this SBC, and so many people are just going to go after this and get it done because this is an Mbappe that you don't have to try to pack or buy. This is Mbappe that, yes, you have to overpay for, but it's one that's attainable for a lot more people than a team of the year, even the gold Mbappe, right? It's easier to get this done for 1.8, 1.9 million coins if you craft it over the 30 days that it is out. It's way easier to do that than it is to buy an Mbappe off the market for 700k plus like his gold card is or try to pack one of his items, of course, as well. So while this is a very underwhelming card and very expensive, EA know exactly what they're doing with this, guys, and that's why they made the price where it is. But as you can tell by that upvote to downvote ratio on Footbin, this card being 92 rated, having an inform on the market that's cheaper than this and basically the same stats is very un un unfortunate. And I, I wish that EA would have made this a 93 and then kept it the same price. Then it would have been, all right, it's expensive, but it got a bigger boost. But it is what it is. And that's, you know, EA just doing what EA 
do. So that's kind of what I saw there with that Mbappe yesterday. And then, of course, let's talk about some markets some more because I know a lot of you guys may be interested today. After you open your packs, like, Nate, if I want to buy a team of the year, when should I be buying this or what should I be doing to watch the market today? Now, these team of the years after yesterday, I expected them to fluctuate in price a little bit. I didn't expect them all to absolutely explode in price. I made a bunch of coins yesterday on two flips. I also lost some coins as well, trying to make a quick flip out of this Hakimi. But Hakimi was at one point in the 1.5s and he is now into the 1.8 million coin range. A lot of these guys have exploded in price because people opened packs, they got coins, they went out and they're buying these cards, right? You've seen some of the price spikes. Benzema is blowing my mind right now. 2.2 million coins after he was 1.8. Now, I think you're going to see the same type of thing that we saw yesterday again today. Some of these guys are going to come right back down again because people know and people are going to expect packs are going to be open today. Extra supply is going to hit the market. There will be panic selling. Will Benzema get as low as he was yesterday? Uh, technically, he should. This, to me, is not a 2.2 million coin card in any uh, shape or form. It is a really nice card. I know it's Benzema, but is it worth 2.2 mil? I don't know, right? I, I think that's too much, though. I think a lot of this team of the year is still a bit overpriced, but who knows? We'll see where these prices hold up, but I do believe you'll see some panic selling today and maybe some cards getting really low either an hour or so before the content drop with the packs and maybe dropping a little bit more in that first hour but then just like we saw yesterday with prices spiking, I feel like you're going to see that exact same thing happen again because people are going to get coins today. They're going to go out on the market and they're going to buy some of these cards. Now, the only difference between today and yesterday is we've got team of the year honorable mentions today that are going to be in packs. Yesterday, we didn't have that. So there could be some other places where people would go out and spend their coins today, trying out some Team of the Year honorable mention cards. That also could help some Team of the Years go up in price, right? We've got Vinny. We've got Valverde. Could Benzema go even higher today? Absolutely, because those Real Madrid links. Watch Militao for that exact same reason. Watch Modric and watch Courtois. I do believe that a lot of these cards will get panic sold, though, and we will see for some of these team of the years the lowest price that they have been yet. Modric was 1.06. He went back to about 1.1, 1.2 almost. I think Modric will be around a million coins flat, maybe even a little bit lower today. We'll just have to see how much panic selling there is. I mean, guys, last year on this date, we talked about it for just a short minute yesterday. This messy card last year was like 4 million coins on the Thursday before the full team of the year and the honorable mentions came in packs. He went all the way down to like 3.2 mil and then went up like three to 400,000 coins a couple hours after content because people went out and bought cards. So I feel like there's just going to be a lot of prices that bounce back again tonight, especially with these team of the years because there's so much demand on this market today and right now. And that, of course, makes me want to look at the rest of the market as well. If there's out of packs cards that get panic sold today. We saw some drop, right? Like this century and Salah is a million coins right now. Yesterday, he was about, what, 900-something thousand coins, got low around content. He was even lower than that. It was like 870, 850. He spiked up, right? You see this big spike after content. Watch cards that are out of packs that are not being kind of replaced by a new honorable mention today. Like, I would be very careful um, with, uh, you know, like Prem Strikers or Prem right mids with the soccer that is coming, or maybe some center attacking mids from La Liga. Prem center backs, I'd be careful with because of this Kula Bali, right? This is going to be a card that, with the right stats and with the right upgrade, would be very, very hype. Keep an eye on your out of packs market today because you've seen some of these prices absolutely go up a lot. Some of them could go up even more late tonight. Again, people opening packs, getting coins going and buying teams. That's how I think the market's going to react today. It's going to be an absolutely in insane, incredible day to make coins at the same time as it is going to be an absolute baller day, banger day, if you will, to try to pack some team of the years. Get your brown squads ready. Get those packs rolling. And guys, I've been opening just a couple of these premium upgrade packs, starting to rinse into 75 plus player picks. And guys, these 75 plus player picks, like they hit, they hit really, really well. I've been getting a lot of fodder. This is not uh, doing its justice right now. I've gotten a lot of 85s, 84s, pretty consistent 83s. So just try some out on your account and start crafting today. Gold rares are probably just going to start rising after today with all the supply. They're probably just going to start going upwards and upwards in price. So we've got a lot of packs to open today. It's going to be an absolutely incredible day 
if you're excited for team of the year today make sure to check out the live stream we will be live around the content drop a couple hours before getting ready building some more packs and getting some last final preparations ready maybe even looking at some of the leaks and some news as we head into the content drop today and we'll just discuss everything related to FIFA. It's going to be an absolute insane day. So that link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. But if you enjoyed today's video, if you're excited to pack Team of the Years, best of luck to all of you. Hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Happy Team of the Year Friday. It's Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.